Hi, if you've been using watercolors and acrylics and you've wanted to try oil paint, but it just seems a little scary, like it's too expensive, it takes too long to dry, or the materials, it's just too much. This video is for you. I'm gonna tell you about the supplies you would need and the best benefit is that oil paint gives a quality that you won't find in other mediums. It's soft, it blends easily, and it's really so durable over the years and decades. So let's get started. So the brushes I buy are either flat, dagger, or round brushes. They don't have to be expensive and I never throw one away. Old brushes are great for adding texture. I use Gamasol paint thinner to clean my brushes and to thin paint. I'll talk more about this in my next video about thinning oil paint for the first layer and helping the paint to dry quickly. I use Murphy Oil Soap to soak my brushes when they get stiff. It's a great way to keep them supple and it really doesn't cost much. I use Winsor Newton oil colors and you can start out with titanium white, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, and French ultramarine blue and make just about any color. Those are the primaries. I buy my stretch canvases at uh, any art store. I buy them in packs. It saves a lot of money. Here's the glass palette that I bought. I like it because it has a gray background and it keeps the colors really neutral. Super easy to clean and uh, you can buy one uh, piece of glass and paint it yourself, but this one was fairly inexpensive. As far as medium, to mix with the oil paint to help it to dry a little quicker, I use Winsor & Newton Liquid Original. Another medium I use to help the paint flow a little more quickly in the final stages is grapeseed oil or linseed oil. Here's the easel that I ordered. It's a French easel, portable plein air studio. It folds up into a backpack and I absolutely love it. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any comments or questions, please put them below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And as always, I hope you enjoy creating and pursuing your talents. Have a great day.